If you think your fuel bill is painful, try driving this to work. We go to running tractors pretty hard and heavy. I mean, we're, we're probably averaging 10000 five, ten thousand dollars a week in diesel. Agricultural producers across Texas, like Jason Niemeyer of McGregor, are being financially squeezed by high input costs, including energy and fertilizer. Fuel and fertilizer is our biggest cost. We're spending more on that than, uh, than we used to spend on the whole crop for everything. You know, every time you crank something up that has diesel or gas in it, you just try to conserve it as much as you can to, to keep your cost down per acre. Though grain prices are at record highs, input costs are skyrocketing at an even faster rate causing those who make their living from the land to worry about the future. They're looking to the future and saying, wait a minute now, what do I do next year to protect myself? I, I, I think I've got a pretty good start to this year, but I need to get some money in the bank because it's going to be tougher for me to weather that storm next year, particularly if it's a short crop. I heard some prices of some, which is a dry fertilizer, 18.460, that we were pay, paying around four to $500 a ton this year, and I heard a price the other day of probably being around 1200 for this following year. If something happens in the corn and wheat, price fall back off, I mean, we're going to have more in the crop than, than we can even get out of it before we ever start. A situation that could further accelerate food costs by putting many farmers out of business, causing the U.S. to depend on foreign food supplies. Reporting from McGregor, Texas, I'm Ed Wolf.